Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. This is YouTuber Nathan Zed. Listen and watch his mouth. Is he saying not or knock? Things I think I am good at, I always feel like I'm not good enough. Even with the things I think I am good at, I always feel like I'm not good enough. Even with the things I think I am good at, I always feel like I'm not good enough. If you're watching this with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, Pause the video and compare your answers. He says not, which makes sense given the context of the rest of the sentence. However, it looks like and sounds like he's saying knock. So not good can sound like knock good. They both actually just sound like not good, not good. Why is that? It's due to a feature of connected speech called assimilation, which is when a sound changes to be more like the following sound, and it's usually to make pronunciation easier. In English, the final T in words is often not pronounced, often even the final T sound. Uh, so sometimes a T sound at the end of a word like not, changes to a k sound, like knock, when the following word starts with a g or k sound, like good. The reason I say sometimes is because this depends on the speaker and how fast and informally they're talking. And if you don't understand the symbols that I'm using to represent sounds in this video, please see the link below to the interactive phonemic chart. Here are a few more examples. Number one, instead of hearing smart kid, you might hear smart kid, smart kid, smart kid. Number two, instead of hearing credit card, you might hear credit card, credit card, credit card. Number three, instead of hearing white gloves, you might hear white gloves, white gloves, white gloves. So now to help you hear how a final t can change to a k sound, I'm going to say 10 sentences. So if you need to, pause the video and number a paper or document 1 through 10. So I'd like you to listen and fill in the gaps. Number 1. Is that clear? Is that clear?
Is that clear? Number two, that's not correct. That's not correct. That's not correct. Number three, that girl is nice. That girl is nice. That girl is nice. Number four, my flight got canceled. My flight got canceled. My flight got canceled. Number five, white cars get dirty quickly. White cars get dirty quickly. White cars get dirty quickly. Number six, she's got a great career. She's got a great career. She's got a great career. Number seven, let go of my hand. Let go of my hand. Let go of my hand. Number eight, we always get good grades. We always get good grades. We always get good grades. Nine, what can we do to help? What can we do to help? What can we do to help? Number 10, I'm going to meet Gary at the gym. I'm going to meet Gary at the gym. I'm going to meet Gary at the gym. So again, if you're watching with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. Go, black, go back and play parts if you need to. Here are the answers. Pause the video if you need to while you check. Pronouncing a feature of connected speech can help you hear it when other people say it. So please listen and repeat. Try to make the k sound at the end of the first bolded word instead of the t sound. Number one, that clear? Is that clear? Number two, not correct. That's not correct. Number three, that girl. That girl is nice. Number four, flight got. My flight got canceled. Number five, white cars. 
White cars get dirty quickly. Number six, great career. She's got a great career. Number seven, let go. Let go of my hand. Number eight, get good. We always get good grades. Number nine, what can? What can we do to help? Number 10, meet Gary. I'm going to meet Gary at the gym. So to review, sometimes a final t sound at the end of a word changes to a k sound when the following word starts with a k or g. A final example is light gray suit. Light gray suit. Now it's your turn. Think of another example of a t sound at the end of a word changing to a k sound and write it in the comments or pause the video and share it with your teacher and classmates. And now for the real world challenge. Find an example of a t sound at the end of a word changing to a k sound in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.